Well, everyone, John Tooth here again. Got another really cool video for you. Um, I was driving down through here in Tennessee, in the hills of Tennessee, looking for some coal trains, and I heard a, a coal train on my scanner coming. So I pulled over to the side of the road real quick, just in time to get the coal train. They stopped for some reason, but what was really cool about it, when they started up, they were really booking within just a couple minutes. They had that train probably going 30 or 35 miles an hour because it's going downhill. And I just wanted to show you this. Look at this house right here. Had a little bit of a problem with it. And there's a creek going right next to it. That probably had a little bit of say with the demise of this house. So this area is really interesting. And there's an old coaling tower right over there. Let's go check out the train that I filmed. Then we'll have a look at this coaling tower. Start the video, son. Here we go. That's my rental car. Looks like they stopped the train. Can't go that way. We are in Tennessee, south of Jellico, and I forgot the name of the town nearby. Finally found some coal though. Pretty neat. They just blew the horn a couple times. Now they're rolling again. Not sure why they stopped here.
Wow, they're booking. Wow, they're booking. You see how fast they got that thing going from a dead stop? They're going downhill though, headed southbound. That was pretty awesome. Check out that old coaling tower. That is really cool. We are southeast of Jellico, Tennessee. I just happened to find this on a back road here. Wow, that's cool. Ah, but wait, there's more. Got a train up on the hillside here. Let's see what this is. Okay, that was pretty cool. That was, that was worth seeing. Got to see that train go past that old coaling tower over there. Glad I came back over here. Just heard it on the scanner. Just barely got that one. That was pretty neat. There's a lot of traffic for being way out in the middle of nowhere here. Out in the boonies. A lot of traffic here for some reason. At least not on the road I'm on. Okay, we got in front of the train one more time. That locomotive. It's on the other side of this creek down here going through a tunnel blowing for the tunnel right now and it's going to come over here there's the tunnel right there somewhere Oh, cool, they waved to me. They saw me. Awesome. Hey, this is pretty neat. Look at this sign I found right here. Both sides of it say the same thing. So click on it at your leisure and read away. And the railroad tracks are right across the river, right there, where all that riprap is dumped for erosion control. Wow, this is kind of the boonies. There's a house over there. Looks like it's vacant. Look at that. Wow, what a place to live. No neighbors here. Yeah, they got a, a gate across the driveway over there. This is a really interesting area. All right, I just read that sign over there. I didn't realize it was that important, but there was 33 people who died right there. The train derailed and um, right next to that river on July 6, 1944. It was a troop train. 33 people died on it. I just now read that. And let's have a closer look at the rail here. We got Nippon Rail uh, made in August of 2009. And it's 136 pounds per yard. So that's pretty good size rail. They had some heavy coal trains on this line. Ah, oh, but wait, there's more. Some interesting stuff around here. We are southeast of Jellico, Tennessee. High Cliff Road, just off of 25W. Look at all those concrete railroad ties. They're replacing all the concrete ties on this line and they're putting in wooden ties. So they've had some kind of a problem with the concrete. And this railroad crossing's got two different kind of bells on it. It's got the real bell right there. See that? That's the real thing. Then it's got the electronical bell on this side. That's interesting. I like to hear these things dinging. 
see what it sounds like. And there's a bunch of brand new ties right there, wooden ties. There you go. But wait, there's more. Of course there was this. Corbin, Kentucky. Just wanted to show you some stuff down here while we're at it. There's the train station. And over here on display, you've got a bay window L&N caboose. And then you got a steam locomotive here. Look at that, that's really neat looking. 080, I believe it is. 080 steam locomotive. There you go. Ooh, it's cold. Freezing. Okay, everyone. Thanks for watching. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Subscribe and do all that stuff. Hey, if you got time, watch another uh, video. Every view really helps my channel. Woo! See you later. Jesse! Jesse! Hey! Hi, Jesse! Hi, Jesse! Hi, Jesse! Hey, Brandy! Woo! Here, Here, puppy. Ah, where'd you go? Hi! Ah, Hi! Ah. Here, Sophie. Sophie. Just took and got home. Got home from Florida. Here's some dogs.